Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and of course, as we are, you know, roughly a week away, or not a lot of days away from what is officially the release of the May 2020 update, apparently, which is, uh, according to rumors, still stated to be May the 28th. So May the 28th is, of course, uh, what, Monday is the 25th? So it would be Wednesday. No, Thursday. Sorry. Thursday, the 28th. So this is going to be interesting. Thursday, the 28th. Um, we'll see if it is there. And some were predicting maybe on Tuesday. Because often there is, a, you know, new versions on the Tuesday. And of course, this is what you see here. The uh, May 2020 update. And I made a lot of videos showing you the different functionalities. Um, if we show here the WinVer for the Windows version, so it brings us to, of course, build 19041.264. Now, a lot of you have been asking me, you haven't done a, okay, what about the future video uh, for a while? So, what about the future? What's next? We know that what's next is still going to be a very small increment in the version. So that means what will be next is going to be a version of Windows that is a cumulative update, just like last year. Last year we had a major version, which was the May 2019 update. Then we had a cumulative update, which became the November 2019 update. Well, May 2020 update is almost here next version let's call it the november 2020 update will be a small cumulative update with very few new features and mostly tweaking of the operating system one of the things that a lot of people are a little annoyed on microsoft is the fact that um, you know when we looked at the different versions and we look at what microsoft is doing one of the things that really clearly comes out of this is a lot of people were expecting a lot more of the fluent design and fluent design is what you see here in the background that blur effect actually if i go here move this here and put just half of the square you'll see that in the blur effect we could see half of that square in what is like a frosted glass effect and there was a lot more expected from fluent design especially because they had layers so we thought, you know, there's going to be a lot more. You know, there's very subtle things. Like, for example, here, if I move my pointer, there's a very slight lighting. Uh, same thing with the buttons here. If I go here, lighting that kind of follows my mouse pointer somehow. Uh, but it's clear that maybe we're not where we or they should or they wanted us to be. But, you know. Um, I think there's a big change with Panos Panay now at the head of Windows and devices. That means that Windows 10 is going in a new direction. And so the next version this fall will be a small cumulative update. That we know. What's next? Some of you have been saying, well, you know, what about if Microsoft abandoned Windows? And it's not. I mean... What's next? 2021 is interesting for different little things. First of all, we know that Iron, so Iron is the code name for 21H1. We know it's going to happen because we learned uh, in the past week or so that it's going to be tested in the fast ring probably in June. So that's kind of interesting because it tells us that we're moving ahead. Iron is going to be the next version after that. That's going to be a major version once again. And Panos Panay, I don't know what to take of whatever he said. He said there's going to be some major new features and changes in Windows 10 and uh, after Christmas, after the holiday season. What does that mean? That's another story. But if there are a lot of new features, of course, insiders will see them first and will have an idea. It's, of course, going to be, once again, a big update, like the updates uh, at the beginning of each year. Will it be a cumulative update after that? 
it's anyone's guess. Uh, there's no, it's not set in stone. Microsoft did not say that every update for the fall or you know at the end of the year would be a small a, a small cumulative update at all. It is right now, but it might not be. Windows 10 is continuing, but there's Windows 10 on ARM that's going to actually appear next year a little more with 64-bit devices. Windows 10 X is going to be something that's going to be interesting also because it's going to be for laptops. 2020 is, let's put it this way, a quiet year where not a lot is going to happen. But 2021 might be totally different here and this is going to be our future of windows i think 2021 is going to brush a future of windows that is getting in a new direction with the different projects that are going on and this is going to be interesting to see until then i think everybody's going to be happy to know that you know what we're not going to have a lot of new features and new stuff and possibly Apart from, you know, tweaking here and there, the focus is really to have stable versions. I mean, come on, this next version, the May 2020 update, it has to be, it has to be stable. It has to be really good because it's been testing since Christmas. I mean, it's ready. It's been ready for five months. It can't go wrong. If it did go wrong there would be a major flaw at Microsoft testing, that's for sure. And the same is true about the next update, which is a cumulative update, because what we know is that it's supposed to be ready for June, but not released until October or November. So same thing, long test. Let's make sure this thing works great and is actually working great. And, um, you know, if you look at the background noise of everything that happened and the problems with uh, Windows updates in the past versions, what we see is that since the May 2019 update, all the updates that appeared are all very stable and very good. And so I think this is really nice. And there's always a background noise of people that are not happy because there's always somebody somewhere that has issues. And this has always been the case uh, that it's like that because it's always been, always been the case that there's a very small percentage. You know, it's impossible to make a operating system that is 100% safe for everybody because depending on what you do with your PC, things can go wrong. And from experience as a tech guy, I can tell you that most of what goes wrong is often the user problem more than Windows itself. I'm not saying that Windows doesn't have any glitches. Windows does, but it is most of the time third-party software, drivers, antivirus, or what the user did that is probably the majority of problems that people are going crazy about rather than Windows. Unfortunately, the um, ideology, the um, you know, idea behind it and what people think is different. But as the tech guy, my view is different because I see how Windows 10 is actually very stable in general and how a lot of people are having problems, but, you know, it's very specific and very unique to each machine. And the real Windows-created problems are probably small in the, in the past year, let's say, um, because... You know, they did mess up in the past in a couple of uh, the releases. But in the past year, uh, it's been rock solid. So we'll see what the future brings. But 21 H1 and, you know, what's going to hap happen in 2021? I think that's where we need to focus and see what's going to happen for the future. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for, um, thank you for uh, watching my videos.